While there are many great features in Google Docs, my favorites are the collaboration features, which allow multiple people to work on a document at the same time. For this demonstration, I have a document open in two tabs with two different Google accounts, and I will be switching between them to show how changes made by one person are visible to other users. In the top right of the web page, you can see the icon for your own Google account, and to the left of that, you can see other users who are currently viewing the document. In the body of the document, you will see a colored marker where another person currently has their cursor. Each person will have a different color of cursor. Adding comments to a document can be useful in a lot of ways. I use them to mark places that need a citation, ask for help with awkward phrasing, or mark which person will be writing each section. Just highlight a section of text, and you can add a comment by clicking this button that appears on the right side. This button is also located in the toolbar at the top of the page. Just type your comment into the box that pops up along the right side of the page. You can also respond to comments, making it into a conversation. Once the comment chain is no longer needed, resolve the comment to remove it from the document. To view comments after they are removed, click this button at the top of the page. Another great feature is the editing mode found here. When you open a Google Doc, you are automatically set to editing. When you make changes to the document in this mode, they appear right away for everyone working on the document. However, if you switch to suggesting mode, you will see something a bit different. In this mode, the changes you make are highlighted and both the previous version and your suggestion are visible. Any of the collaborators can accept or reject the suggested changes easily. I like using suggesting mode when I'm reviewing a section that was written by someone else. To begin with, it feels more respectful to make suggestions when editing what another person wrote, rather than just changing it. In a more practical sense, sometimes I may suggest different phrasing that doesn't quite match what the original's intent of the author was.